have to go around and double check all the high ceiling areas in this old, I think it was built in like early 1900s here in New Hampshire. As you can see, it's, the ceilings are pretty high and it's one of these old mill buildings from back in the day when they were doing the mills here and super, super nice architecture and everything, you know? The, the wood flooring is the original wood flooring. The downside is that there is a relentless amount of, it's, it's so hard to see, but like the, the amount of cobwebs in, in, in this particular building, and not really this building, all the buildings are built like this with the exposed interior brick, the massive, you know, windows that have uh, probably need to be re redone. Who knows, they are probably put in in like the 80s and you, you can feel if, if so much as sneezes a wind out there, you can feel it coming through. Um, sometimes during the year you can see bugs like literally flying in underneath. So it's not ideal if you're trying to keep the place looking, you know, spick and span for potential customers who think that it, it you know, hasn't been done. So this I'm finding is definitely a tricky situation. I don't know if anybody that listens to this or is going to watch this, there's probably maybe four people out there that will, which is, which is great, but take my advice. Uh, you, you know, you got to double check this stuff because honestly, I hadn't really done it for, this has probably been now uh, three weeks. And again, you can't really tell, but these lights, because they're on pretty much all the time with the heat, they just draw these tiny pain in the butt spiders in. Now this one's actually okay, oddly enough. They just like come right to these stupid lights. I don't know why all those critters come in and just build these tiny little webs that you can barely get. And the problem with these things is even when you wipe the webs clean, because the spiders are obviously not getting rid of by any means. So within like a day or two, these tiny little cobwebs just will reemerge again. And, and sometimes they're even worse because they, these spiders like get so apparently they're annoyed that, you know, hey, God forbid my stupid spiderweb collection off the light here in the middle of this building got dismantled. So they start building them, they shoot a thousand more webs in areas, right? So normally I wouldn't uh, be taking pictures and talking. I don't think I've talked in any of my videos, but I feel like this is definitely a great time to come in here. It's Sunday. I've worked seven days this week for, you know, I don't know what, what is this now, going on week four here. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just one of those things. You, you know, you got your own business, you're doing your own thing. And it's, it's like a never ending thing. It's not a big deal, but these lights, as you can see them like wobbling around, they're, they're tricky to do. I don't necessarily want to ask any of my employees per se to do it because, you know, if by chance something gets damaged, I'd, I'd much rather be the one to potentially take the heat for it or have to potentially answer to somebody about, um, but again, like look at these ceilings, they're, they're massive, these old these old things. And and really, the the way that this was done, it, it's, there's so many gaps within the, the windows here. Like it's hard to, to really tell, but like look at the inside of this thing. Look at all these little guys. Look at this, it's insane. They're all like right there, literally, you open this window up one time and like, they just fly in here like a horde of 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 animal like insects you know so anyway trying to trying to stay on top of it because i hopefully next week won't have to potentially do this in, in at least in this particular building here um there's these condo complexes and apartment complexes that we do it's the same thing man. It, it's like this time of year it's dwindling down but they are out with a vengeance, these things. They're trying to like, I don't know, prepare themselves for the, the winter nap, nap time or whatever. 
and they're just like, they come out like crazy. Yeah, look at this, this is nuts. It, it, it's hard to see in here and uh, how, how bad it is, but they're freaking, in this particular room, they love it for whatever reason. They, <laughs> they came into this room and were like, yo, we're gonna make a, gonna make a little, uh, make a little home here. And uh, it's every single light in here has like a, look at this one, I, you probably can't see it all that well, right? Maybe now you can. Look at that, crazy. I just wiped it. It's it's so hard. They're so they're so tiny to see, honestly. That like, it, and you wipe it a thousand times, and you still can't even look at that. You can't even get it. How sticky the the cobweb is. I don't even know. These spiders are jacked up on something. Probably all the. Oh yeah, you can see this one. Look at this. Look at this little guy. This little buddy in here just decided. You know what? I'm just gonna like look at this. Crazy. And that's after two weeks worth of doing this right two weeks of of cleaning i just did this two weeks ago and uh gotta come back in here and, and redo it and probably i'll have to be back in here two more weeks from now and it's probably going to be twice as, as bad because i don't know they get again get angry they're frustrated that you just did this and here i am in here look at it. i still can't even get it it's like i really need two people in here helping me with this this is just crazy all right i think we're I think we're golden with that one. At least for now. It's, it's so tough to try to get it perfect because I just know again in two more weeks I'm going to be back in here and having to, to kind of deal with this stuff. Like these guys, they just, these little guys. I could actually see, I could, you, you can't probably see, but I, I could see one of them just like, like going all around everywhere that I'm not touching. Like, look at this guy. He's going around everywhere. Yeah, he'll be back. Probably like, what are you doing, bud? I just built this thing for the fifth time. Yeah, and then you got all these lights up in here. The, the other ones, for some reason, aren't, aren't quite as bad. I'm, I'm not right now gonna focus on them as, I mean, as much. Um, the individual offices are for sure the worst, but if you own a cleaning company or you're just a cleaner in general, I'm telling you, and you're like, ah, I just did the cobwebs. This should be good for a year. No way. It's like this is after two weeks. There's like, it's so hard to see again with this. At some point when I can spend a little more money and get maybe a better camera, I plan to take some better kind of photos and shots of some of these these things. I just think it's kind of wild, like looking at some of this stuff and um, <laughs> for sure, like this is after literally me me doing this for. Uh, two weeks ago basically um yeah, so here's the old mill buildings if anyone's looking that's not from around here this is you know in new hampshire the old mill buildings back in the day and they they had nothing but these huge ceilings and obviously back then it was all this brick i mean the structure is totally solid and but when they tried to update it to the 20th century, I think, they, I mean, you know, when you update it to the 20th century, I guess a couple corners maybe got cut on some of the things that they could have done a little better, like, I don't know, better insulation for the windows, per chance, so, I mean, here, but that's really, that, you know, I just wanted to take a picture and kind of show these old mill buildings that everyone gets so obsessed about. How, how amazing they are. They're, they're awesome, truly awesome, except when it comes to cleaning them, <laughs> they're a little bit of a pain for sure. And this video is just me explaining and showing how it is like a never ending battle in, in here. Here, this is the one that, it's, this is the one I can show. You probably can get a good angle. This was two weeks ago. I tried tackling this one. It's all spider webs in there, right? It's this thing here. Yeah. Look at this one. Same thing. All like. So the thing is, is like, there's probably like four little, five, maybe even little tiny, tiny spiders. There's no way to, if I don't kill them or get them out of here, move them out. Which how are you gonna move them out? You know, ask them politely to move. <laughs> you know, like what's the thing? So they're not even gonna. You can't even get them out. It's hard to see here, but they're, each one of these lights has like a, a web on it that's like stringing across and 
you know, these buildings here, okay, amazing buildings. If you, if you have a business and, and you want to impress clients, these buildings are amazing for that, for sure. You can just see how the architecture again, with the modern and the old is, it really does fit in quite nicely here. But cleaning is definitely uh, a special, a special thing. It is super brutal. Constant spider webs. Oh yeah, right here, look at this little guy. This has got to probably be like right up in this neck of the woods. Let's see. Yeah, it's hard to see, but like, and, and and these 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 clients are great. Like they don't even mention this to me at all that they have this. You know, they know like I'll do it. I got to get to it. It's just it's a never-ending battle. Thankfully give me enough time to get around to do it and we, and we do and uh that's it that's all i wanted to show just a quick little uh blurb on the mills in new hampshire what the buildings kind of look like and when people think that cleaning in the summertime is easier because there's no rock salt uh not necessarily not necessarily true because and here you you have these wicked old mill buildings that just bring another form of cleaning task to the air to the uh, to the job. So that's it. Bye.